Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 Day Trend. We've certainly had our fair share of weather to talk about over the last 24 hours, let alone over the next 10 days. The April showers this week have brought with them torrential downpours, hail, thunder, hill snow and even some gale force winds. It's also felt quite cold. Now over the next 10 days, the weather does start to quieten down. It slowly turns drier in many places. But it's not going to warm up everywhere because we're going to start to find ourselves with easterly winds come next week. And those easterly winds will feel pretty chilly in the east coming in from the North Sea. But because they are easterly winds, it's the west where we'll have the brightest and the driest weather heading into next week. Certainly not particularly settled in the west on Thursday. You can see areas of rain and showers rotating around low pressure centred close to the southwest of England. Most places getting a few more heavy showers, heavy downpours, hail mixed in and also some hill snow over the tops of the peaks. But there'll be a slither of drier, brighter weather there through central and eastern parts of the country. And where we get some sunshine, temperatures will recover a small amount, up to around 11 or 12 degrees. But many areas just feeling cold and it's going to be fairly windy with the winds coming in around this area of low pressure. And this area of low pressure doesn't move very far. It's milling about close to the southwest of the UK with these weather fronts rotating around it. But it is filling over the next few days and that means that the showers will become less potent and less widespread. But there'll still be a few of them around for Northern Ireland, Wales, the southwest of England, particularly on Friday. And there'll be some prolonged rain just clearing the far north of Scotland. In between, again, some sunny spells, many places dry for central and southern Scotland into northern and eastern England. And once again, where we get some sunny spells, at least temperatures reaching the double figures it won't feel too unpleasant. But uh, there'll still be blustery outbreaks of rain in the southwest, making it feel on the cold side. What happens to that low pressure? Well, like I say, it's not moving very far, very fast. It's actually caught up in the jet stream, this fast flowing current of air high in the sky, it tends to move these areas of low pressure around. But as you can see, this low pressure is sitting in the neck of a plunging jet stream well to the south of the UK. And because it's caught in this neck, it's not moving along. And actually what happens over the next few days is the jet stream becomes even more contorted particularly confused as we head into the weekend. This is its shape onto uh, Friday and the weekend. You can see the neck of the jet stream there just sort of starts to circle around itself and then it pushes away through the Mediterranean. Meanwhile, another branch of the jet stream rides well to the north over Greenland and then comes back down into Scandinavia. In fact, this split in the flow of the jet stream is a what we call blocking pattern, a diffluent block. And that means that it leaves an empty space where we normally get low pressure systems moving in from the Atlantic. We end up with high pressure instead. That high pressure though is centered to the north of the UK and we've still got low pressure close to the southwest. And what that means is we get an easterly airflow developing through the weekend and into the start of next week. What does that mean for our weather? Well, with this easterly airflow on Saturday, we'll still have an awful lot of cloud around, particularly across eastern parts of Scotland and eastern England. There'll still be some showers coming in on the North Sea and there'll be further showers affecting the southwest of England, rotating around that old area of low pressure. It will, of course, feel cold where the wind is coming in from the North Sea, just seven or eight degrees on that coast, but where we get some sunshine further west into the double figures or even the teens. High pressure there to the north of the UK on Sunday. We've still got that easterly wind and similar weather with cloudier skies to the east, showers coming in from the North Sea, brightest conditions further west, fewer showers, I suspect, for the southwest of England. And again, where we get some sunny spells, temperatures are rising inland, 15, 16 degrees possible, but still pretty chilly where we get that North Sea airflow. Heading into next week, little change. Apart from, you can see these blues start to come down from the north. That means colder weather starts to move in for all parts. 
Now, this is no beast from the east. We're into April, so it's not a particularly severe, snowy sort of Easter, easterly. It just will make it feel quite cold next week. If you're on that North Sea coast, eastern Scotland, eastern England, I think it will often be grey. Temperatures will be suppressed, six, seven, eight degrees on the coast. And there'll be some showers. And because of the cold air moving in, those showers could well be sleet or snow over the hills. For the south, we're still quite close to an area of low pressure, and that means that there'll sometimes be outbreaks of rain moving up from the south. Some uncertainty over this, but it could well see a few more showers affecting southern and southwestern parts of England at times. The temperatures here not as cold as the North Sea coast. The best weather, though, will be Western Scotland, Northern Ireland, parts of Northwest England and Wales. Here, sunny spells, and in that spring sunshine, temperatures of 15, 16 degrees possible. So big variation across the country through next week, but it doesn't change particularly through the week. And that means that uh, these sort of conditions that you start the week with, you're likely to see throughout much of the next 10 days. More details as ever through the Met Office app and via our social media channels. Bye-bye.